Hey y'all, it's Grit Girl, otherwise known as Margaret, and tonight I'm actually going to make some whole wheat pasta from scratch. You need a mixer, pasta machine, rolling pin, computer, uh, some whole wheat flour, some all-purpose flour, olive oil, salt, and some eggs. It's really that simple. You're just going to mix it all together. You'll do a, a cup and a half each of the whole wheat flour and the all-purpose flour. Put it in your mixer and add a half teaspoon of uh, either kosher or sea salt and two teaspoons of olive oil and four eggs. As you can see I've added the olive oil to a well in the center of uh, the mixer and I've been slowly adding in the eggs here. Now I actually had to add an extra egg, it just wasn't quite moist enough for me, but you will uh, figure it out on your own whether or not the dough is actually easy enough to work with. So once it's all mixed together, you're going to cover it with a dish towel and let it rest for 30 minutes. And you're going to take it out, knead it into a ball, make sure it's elastic, and then you'll start uh, actually pressing it out into pasta. I have a, a pasta machine that my mother-in-law got for me for Christmas, and I just love it. Here you can see I've actually already done the first uh, layer of uh, flattening it out using the pasta machine, or you can use a rolling pin. This is uh, on the number three setting which is just a little bit thinner and this is actually on the number five setting which is the thinnest that I like it that's the same piece of dough you can see how long it gets when you stretch it out now I've added an attachment here so I can actually slice the dough into noodles and uh, you just feed it through as you can see that's what I'm doing and it'll actually um, bring them out and so they look uh, a lot like fettuccine noodles and then I hang them up on a handy dandy pasta dryer also known as clothes hangers. That's all it takes. Uh, you'll want it to dry completely before you uh, cook it. And um, the great thing about fresh pasta is it only takes two minutes in rapidly boiling water. Last thing, uh, this right here is the leftovers that I had that weren't quite long enough to hang. They are perfect to put into soups. So I hope you guys enjoy everything and uh, love this recipe and make it for years to come. Good night, y'all.